All right, today we're talking all about the maps and mode predictions for the CDL for the MW3 2024 season. Uh, we're going to be talking about, you know, possible maps, possible game modes, and what I really think uh, we're going to be playing for this next year. So let's get right into it. So to start off with the game modes, I do believe we're going to be continuing with the two hard point, two searches like we have been. You know, that's been a core basis for standard competitive Call of Duty for the past few years. So I believe we're going to continue with that. I think the main question mark that's up in the air is that third flex game mode if i had to place a bet it would be that we would be playing control once again uh, but i think that is the most up in the air out of all of the three game modes uh, you know there's a possibility that ctf or demo is in the game and there's a possibility that teens would you know like to try that on the maps and play that rather than control i'm just not 100 sure that teams are gonna you know completely enforce it or the league is gonna completely enforce it uh, because you know control can still work as a competitive game mode it's just been a little bit stale for some people uh, uh, specifically myself I think it's really dependent on the maps and to be honest with you I don't think we've had a really good control game mode since you know BO4 when it got introduced where it was 5v5 with specialists and some decent control maps you know to be honest with you a lot of the times in these game modes we don't really have good enough control maps for them and if I'm being honest you know last two years we played Gav control and Fortress control which were both you know super heavy defensively sided maps you know 75 to 80 percent win rates sometimes even higher and at that point you know it just feels like everyone's just playing for defense round five and it becomes a really tdm based game mode and it just doesn't really become as fun so since it becomes a more tdm dependent game mode it isn't as good for spectators to watch uh, so that's what really have been the downsides these past few years but i really think it does depend on the maps that we play like we did have raid and cold war i would argue that hotel was actually a pretty good control map if you're not talking about just the spawns you know spawns are another huge huge thing too if it's not really good spawns for control or if it really is spawn travelable it really does affect the competitive experience on that so it, it really depends on those maps and if we're being honest you know we haven't really hit too many times on the maps for being you know really good competitive you know control maps so i think that's why uh, i would advocate for at least testing one of these other game modes out whether it's capture flag which we know has worked in previous competitive call of duties it's possible that you know you could also say it's another stale game mode but in my opinion it just plays out better especially when you go back in the day and we know that ctf worked as a competitive game mode in the mlg 2009 you know pro circuit i think it's possible that we can at least try it out and see what it's like whether the spawns are the same and they still work out for competitive ctf you know it is really spawn dependent all of these game modes you know even hard point you know there's a lot of times where we're going to be seeing maps that are just don't have good spawns right off the rip so if they can fix those and fix any you know rotations whether it's like the hill numbers or the order in which the hills go you know that can be something that can be fixed as well so it really depends on you know what we have at that base game and what we have to work with and same thing with demo you know demo is kind of like ctf where we played it previously in that old pro circuit back in 2009 but it is kind of like control where it is spawn trappy and it is like some type of tdm based game mode so it's possible but maybe you know it's a little bit more exciting for viewers where it's you know no live cap and you have to plant the bomb rather than just you know capping a point so you have that little you know back and forth dynamic with the plant and the defuse so that's i guess a possibility too we just know that it worked on these maps so that's why uh, it's being brought up but this all could be just a moot point if the spawns are different or if they're not even just in the game in general you know we we don't even know if they're even going to make it to the final release so you know we could just be stuck with control so if I had to guess, uh, like I said before, I think we are going to be playing control as that third game mode this year. You know, there could be an argument that you can make that there should be just two game modes where it's hard point and searches, but that becomes, you know, a really controversial topic for the league and for the teams themselves because some people want three searches, some people want three hard points, and it really gets mixy from that point. I personally think if we were going to go that route that we should have three hard points, I think it's easier to steal a search. So in my opinion, the better team will most likely win the series if there's three hard points. So my argument if you put three searches you know it's easier to steal that search and possibly easier to steal a series if you're not a good respawn team also you know if we're taking out a control which is a respawn game mode you know we should be replacing it probably with another respawn game mode because it's still three to two respawns in that sense so you know that's a really contested point i can see the arguments for a third search as well i just personally think uh, from a cdl perspective from a whole league perspective uh you'd be better off having that third part point but again we might be talking for nothing here because most likely we are going to be playing that three you know flex game mode now let's get on to the maps i think we have a really cool interesting dynamic this year because we're bringing back maps from just mw2 so a lot of these maps were used
used back in 2009 when the MLG Pro Circuit was going on. So we know that these maps work in certain game modes. So if we're talking about specifically for search, I think we have a really good search game in our hands. And I'm really going to be excited for those first few, you know, search tournaments right at the beginning of the game. And even just search throughout the entire year because we know we have good maps for it. We know that we have full dead silence now. Uh, so we know that the search is actually going to be good this year and going to be really exciting uh, to watch. And if we're talking about specific maps, the maps that were played for search back in the day were uh, Karachi, Scrapyard, High Rise, Terminal, and Invasion. And those, I think, are some really good maps. I think four of those five, everyone but Scrapyard, are 100% locks that we'll be playing this year. Scrapyard's a little bit different just because, you know, with the new movement, uh, it is a pretty small map. I think it's actually smaller than, like, Bocage. It might be the smallest map that we would ever play in this new age of COD. So it would be a little bit different uh, with Scrapyard because obviously with a new movement, but it's a possibility that we still play that map. I think High Rise, Terminal, Karachi, and Invasion are 100% locks though for Search and Destroy. Uh, for Respawn, it's a little bit different because we don't know the Hardpoint rotations. Obviously we didn't play Hardpoint back in the day. It was just CTF and Demo. So for Hardpoint rotations, we're gonna have to see where the spawns are, where the order of the rotation is actually. So it's possible that we have you know a different map, whether it's you know Afghan, Subbase, State, whether those hardpoint maps actually play nice. But if we're playing on the safe side here, I would be really surprised if we didn't play high rise, terminal, invasion, hardpoint. Uh, Karachi is also a possible one too. So those four maps are going to be like the core four maps, in my opinion, going into the MW3. You know, there is a possibility for Scrapyard again to be in or one of these other maps like sub base, Afghan, if, if hardpoint or control does work out well for one of those game modes. But because we played demolition on high rise, terminal, invasion, and Scrapyard back in the day, I assume where the bomb sites are would be where they would put the control sites are so those would probably be the same type of maps that we would be playing there but again it is possible that we play one of those one-off maps uh, for control or for hardpoint I personally would really like to see like a sub base hardpoint I think the map uh, size and how that map works could be cool if the rotation is nice and I want to say that Afghan and the state were actually used as competitive uh, GB maps you know not on the pro circuit but on the game battles ladder and the search and destroy tournaments maybe at the beginning of the game uh, they had a state and Afghan so that's possible that we play search on those uh, i wouldn't say it's likely but the other four or five would definitely be uh, my core five for expecting to be in the game modes so if I had to take a guess, I don't think we'd be playing, you know, Skid Row or Quarry or like Downpour or all those other maps. Uh, those four that I said, High Rise, Terminal, Invasion, Karachi, I think are locks for at least uh, Search and Destroy. And, you know, we're going to have to see what uh, Respawn plays like with the spawns and everything else for those other maps. And in terms of DLC maps, you know, later on in the season, it's possible that we bring in DLC maps. Uh, that's always been the case in Competitive COD. And I saw a leak that they would prioritize remakes from, you know, COD 4, MW3. So so if we do have remakes uh, in those games, we could have DLC maps that were competitive and actually implement them into the comp season later on. But it really depends on when the comp season starts. So let's say the competitive season starts in December or January. You know, if those maps drop for season one in December or January, I don't think we would play it in stage one. So stage two would be that first season where we would expect to have any DLC maps if we were going to include it. But again, it's possible that we get those new maps later on in the season and start implementing them if they are good for competitive. So thank you guys for making the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys would personally like as a viewer to watch for the competitive season, whether it's game modes or map wise. And I will see you guys in the next one.